idea that um, was shared at the conference in the summer. And it's the idea where you get students to um, look at a picture um, in, in teams and they come and individually look at the picture and then they have to go back and, and draw what they're seeing. So you might have seen that before. But I thought, well, A, I'm probably not going to find a picture of exactly what I want for what I want to teach. So I, I've kind of developed it and changed it a little bit. So what I did was, I'm trying to find an original one. I took a piece of A3 and I cut it into five pieces. So I made five teams of students. Then I went round and I gave them each a post-it with a theme on that I wanted them to draw. So um, one of the teams had going to church. So they took their kind of their shape and they had to draw an image. No words, no numbers. Um, I don't know they did that. Um, on going to church. Now I obviously knew that there was going to be a theme to the pictures, but they didn't. They just knew their one. So then they brought their picture. I glued them all back onto a piece of A3. So they know a fifth of the picture. Then in their teams, they have their plain piece of um, paper and they have to send a team member out to come and look, 30 seconds, go back and draw. So obviously they know what their picture looked like, but they need to try and remember the other four. So they do that. I do a quick little competition, put them up on the board. Whose looks the best? Who did it, you know, the best? Not massively kind of, it gets them into the topic. So then I said to them, right, you know what post-it I gave you, you've now got to guess what the words were on the four other people's post-its, i.e. what are you seeing happening here. So um, they then label up, and again, the competition, who can guess what the other four post-its said. And then I give them back to them again and said, right, this is today's lesson theme. I have on my post-it the theme written down. You've got to try and guess what the overall theme is that I've asked you to focus on. And in this case, it was um, a religious upbringing, Christianity, that they had to look at at GCSE. So actually, rather than just looking at a picture, they're engaging in it, they're revising what they probably already know Christians do in an upbringing, but it kind of gets them thinking about it and using their thinking skills to try to put it all together. Brilliant.